Hey there fellow adventure explorers, welcome back to our channel where we're all about exploring one credible destination at a time. Today we have something truly special in store for you. We're inviting you to join us on an unforgettable journey aboard the magnificent Crown Princess cruise ship as day pass visitors. We'll take you along as we explore the decks, check out their sparkling pools, and even indulge in mouth-watering cuisine at the onboard restaurant. There is no shortage of excitement here guys, so this vlog is your passport to a day of pure bliss on the Crown Princess cruise ship. So hop on and let's start exploring. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Super excited today. We're down at Canada Place on the waterfront in Vancouver and we've got a special one for you today. What are we doing today, baby? We're very excited. This is first time for me and first time for Trent. We're boarding a cruise ship. <laughs> We're not going anywhere, <laughs> but we are getting aboard one of the cruise ships to tour around that tour. As from visitors. As visitors, that tours from Vancouver to Alaska and back again. So we're excited to take you guys along and check out the ship today. Okay. Now that we have parked our car, it's now time to head towards the cruise ship terminal. By the way, guys, if you're looking to catch a glimpse of the cruise ships here in Vancouver port, or if you're first time cruise passengers, or maybe you're just like us, just day pass visitors for the first time, there are a few iconic landmarks that you might want to keep an eye out for. The first iconic landmark that we will be seeing here is called the Drop. This is an iconic artwork sculpture in the form of a water droplet, located at the Bon Voyage Plaza facing the East Building. The Drop resembles a known feature of Vancouver, which is, guess what? Water and rain. We also have the Pan Pacific Hotel, of course, which is perched on the water's edge, this hotel stands as a beacon of luxurious accommodation. And of course, this right here is where we want to be, Canada Place, a gem located on the waterfront of Vancouver. This right here is the gateway to adventure. This is where Vancouver welcomes its visitors from around the world to experience the vibrant energy of this coastal city. We are just about to have a glimpse of the princess. We are now at the easternmost section of Canada Place facing the Burrard Inlet waterfront. And as you can see, the Crown Princess is already here. We just have to figure out next where to go so that we can get our pass and get on board the ship. Baby! Excited? Excited. We're ship. So on this bustling side of the vessel, essential supplies needed for the sailing is being loaded and meanwhile, the staff and crew are engaged in their safety drill, adhering to the requirements set by the Canadian Port Authority. Just past security now. We made it. We're past security. <laughs> we have our yellow visitor pass. Oops, that's the upside down. Had to show our passports. Like real <laughs> passengers. 
<laughs> Real passengers going nowhere. <laughs> but we're past security, now we're just walking to the game plank to get on the ship. Okay, see you again in a bit. Get up the gangplank, dear. Are you excited? Like the real deal. Like the real deal. Like a real passenger. <laughs> Next year, maybe. Getting in now. This is the main entrance. <laughs> oh, Will has bar. <laughs> <laughs> Found the bar. <laughs> As we step foot inside the ship, I was drawn to the grand staircase. Look at those radiant glow of the bright lights and the energizing live music. I was also wondering if there's like a Jack Dawson doppelganger standing here somewhere. <laughs> Forgive me, we've been watching a lot of Titanic stuff lately. Anyways, going back, this is deck 6. Here you'll see the guest services department, the casino, the theater that we will show later on as well as one of their dining places, which is the Da Vinci restaurant. And this right here is the Enchanting Princess Theatre, located on the deck 6 of the Crown Princess. Here from Broadway-style productions to mesmerizing dance performances to comedy acts, this is where it all happens. With its elegant design and plush seating, this theatre provides the perfect setting for a night of dazzling shows and live entertainment. And speaking of more entertainment, Roll the dice, spin the wheel, and hold on to your lucky socks. It's time to step into the casino, still located at deck 6, where fortunes are won and dreams are shattered. <laughs> Here, passengers can channel their inner James Bond or Lady Luck. There are so many tables and slot machines to choose from. I'm sure passengers will have a great time here. Now let's move one deck down and explore deck 5. So guys... There's really a smorgasbord of entertainment on board the Crown Princes. I know we've just been roaming around for a few minutes and I know there's still so much more to see, but so far, I can already say that no matter what your vibe is, I think they've got you covered. We've seen they have the theater for their live performances and I can hear live music everywhere. They've got the art gallery right here. They have dining, different dining areas, the casino, and... You know, there's just something to tickle everyone's fancy here so far. And like I've said, I know there's still so much more to see. So if I'm a real passenger or if we're real passengers here, all we got to do is just kick back, relax, and let the good times roll. So in one of the dining rooms, mm. Michelangelo. So this is closed. So is this specialty dining then? No. Oh. no. Regular dining? Regular. So far? It will be like 500 to 600. Same upstairs and same the other one. So, uh, I've actually never cruised on a ship. So, when you come for dining, yeah. do you have private seating or are you just sitting in the city? Well, um, the, for, for now, we have the dining my way where, where you can book online mm. or you can through booking also by the by the uh, our, our small uh, boat there. And then, but if you like your table or if you like the waiter, like the service, you can ask the for the same to stay for the same for, for the same, same table, table. For the uh, so one of the specialty or alternative restaurants that we found here is the crown grill when it comes to dining at specialty restaurants it's important to know that they operate separately from the inclusive dining options available on the cruise so that being said you have to pay for whatever you order but unlike the main dining rooms and buffets included in your cruise package specialty restaurants provide a more intimate atmosphere and also gives you an opportunity to explore diverse cuisines. So just so you'll have an idea of the average cost, here's their menu so that you can check out how much it might cost you if you opt to dine at a specialty or alternative restaurant. 
Now let's head up to deck 15 and check out the pool area. Guess what guys, they have multiple pool decks available. You can choose the vibe that suits you best. And talk about romantic setting, they actually have an outdoor movie space here under the open sky. I would really love to try that someday. And by the way guys, it's important that we acknowledge and express our deepest gratitude to my cousin William, who is a member of the Crown Princess team. Without his assistance, this extraordinary opportunity to explore the ship as they pass visitors would not have been possible for us. William, this is a heartfelt shout out to you. Thank you for giving us the tour and we extend our sincerest thanks for going above and beyond to accommodate us. Now it's time to satisfy our taste buds. Let's make our way to the buffet area for a delicious lunch spread. It's like we're in a movie. I don't know how you do it. Uh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, dear. Hello. Do you expect to be draining today? On my cruise ship? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I buy a bottle of booze here, can I drink that in my camera? So, I'll yeah. uh, follow oh, but you can't open it on the boat if you buy it. Okay, so we're done our cruise with our pretend cruise with Princess Cruises from Vancouver to Alaska. Thank you, William and the crew of the ship for letting us on board today to tour around. And of course, thank you very much for the free buffet lunch in the main dining room. Really appreciate it. Give us a chance to really experience the ship like a passenger would. Like real passengers. Like real passengers instead of just fake passengers. <laughs> But it was a fantastic time. I really enjoyed it. The ship is huge. We didn't even see all of it. Yeah, but we had a great time. But we had a really good time. Of course, we didn't get to visit the cabins because passengers are going into their own cabins now. They're getting ready to sail mm -hmm. at 5 o'clock on their way to Alaska. Yeah, but overall, it was really a great experience. We're so thankful that we were given this opportunity to be um, guest passengers. Guest pretend passengers and uh, just gives us a taste of what it's going to be like if we get the opportunity to do it ourselves, which we're kind of hoping to do maybe next year. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for next year's <laughs> cruise. Hopefully, we'll be able to vlog that too. And you guys will actually see what the cruise itself is like. All right. So if you like this video, guys, don't forget to click the like Give button. Give us a thumbs up. I'll click the like button and share. Subscribe. And subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and please share. It means the world to us. Take care. Bye -bye. See you again. Bye -bye.